from the WKBN 27 First News Network, home of the High School Basketball Starting Five Award, and the best overall sports coverage in the Valley. Dumps it off to blast it in. He's on fire here in the first half. He throws it down. This is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week, sponsored by Stadium GM on my YTV. Coming to you live from Bomber Country, Wyndham High School. It is the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Tonight, two of the best teams in the Northeastern Athletic Conference will face off with a conference title on the line. 15-2 Bristol facing off with 16-2 Wyndham. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. Let's take a look at our keys to the game, which are brought to you by Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. It all starts in the rebounding department. You know, you got to control the boards early. Bristol's looking to take advantage of that. Also, you've got to be able to pick your spots, take advantage of transition, execute in the half court, and then finally be aggressive. You know, you've got to make sure that you go out here and be aggressive and look to attack. These two teams come into this one. Red Hot Bristol has run off 10 straight wins. Meanwhile, Wyndham has won eight straight games. These two teams can light up the scoreboard. Bristol putting up more than 75 points a game. Wyndham at 72.8 points per game. It was Wyndham coming away with a two-point victory in the first meeting back on December 22nd, and it's a game, quite frankly, that Bristol feels should have won the ball game. Tied was a 13-point ball game in the fourth quarter with Bristol with the lead. Wyndham came back and got the victory on a putback off an air ball at the buzzer. However, Bristol without two key components in Gage Elza and Bobby Evans. So it should be a different story here tonight. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. This fantastic matchup here in Bomber Country. Let's take a look at the starting lineups. And these are two outstanding starting lineups. You'll notice the two Engel brothers for Wyndham, Mason and Blaze. They can light up the scoring column. And on the other side for Bristol, it's Tommy Donatio and Brian Gabrielson. Each of them notched their 1,000th career point here this year. All set for the opening tip, Bristol and Wyndham, here we go. You know, Chad, you can tell this is the type of game that's not for the timid. This is packed to the hilt, and we wouldn't want it any other way. Bristol wins the opening tip, Gabrielson the senior with the ball. Over out of the left side, it is Elja. Elja takes the ball outside the three-point line. They have it onto the wing. They whip it across near side into the hands of Donatio. Backing in, he puts it up off the rim, no good. Rebound tapped into the far corner. Baseline jumper up and good for Brian Gabrielson. Gets off to a hot start. Gets the jumper early on, and we're going to see a little bit of Bristol pressure. That's the pressure that we've grown so accustomed to seeing. Angle, floater, up and good with the left hand. Defender bailed out just a little bit. Angle up and in. We are tied at two. Bristol basketball. Gabrielson will slowly trot it across the time stripe into the forecourt. Onto the wing. It is Donatio who penetrates. And there is a whistle and a reach in foul called against Wyndham. It'll be tagged to Eric Park, a senior guard. First personal, first team foul. Bristol ball. Panthers have it in underneath, off the glass, and good for Bobby Evan. Very nice touch pass. Evan gets his feet in bounds. Those are the type of high percentage shots you want coming off the baseline out of bounds. Mallorca brings it across the time stripe and into the forecourt. 6.38 to play in the opening quarter. Triple try from the corner. It's up, no good, off the rim. Offensive rebound, scooped up off the bottom of the rim, no good. Terrence Woods crash on the offensive glass, and he has fouled. He'll shoot two. And both teams getting the easy points. We saw it down at the other end with the baseline out of bounds. This time, the second chance points getting to the free throw line, and that's how you get yourself involved early on. Gabrielson 
picks up the personal, one team foul per side. As it is a trip to the free throw line for Wyndham, Terrence Woods, a very athletic senior. He connects on 83% of his free throw attempts, and he knocks that one in to cut it to a one-point deficit at 4-3. There's some token pressure from Wyndham. Bristol breaks that pressure. Elza into the paint, raises up, and knocks it down. Elza able to establish himself in the middle. Contact doesn't bother him. Nice floater in the paint. Into the hands of Eric Park, he penetrates into the paint. Far side angle. Shot was well contested. Bristol trying to run. Ball was poked free into the hands of Mason Angle. He flipped it up and in. That's the second time Angle gets to the middle. They don't get the charge call. Let him play. Underneath, this is Gabrielson. And we have a whistle and a Wyndham foul. And that's going to be the second one on Park. So Park is going to have to head to the bench, and we will see Tyler Collins checking in. Bristol basketball. And the ball is out of bounds. Think it at the backboard. A little deflection. Stays here. 5.51 to play in the opening quarter. Gabrielson has it into Elza. Gabrielson, and on the floor, we have another Wyndham foul, and we'll see who it's tagged to. And this one will be tagged to Mason Engel. So it's on the floor. It'll stay Bristol basketball. First on Engel, and the third team foul as Gabrielson has the ball in for Bristol. He fires for three. He's got it! Don't really need to give Gabrielson a lot of room. Tries to go inside first, pops outside, knocks down a three. Gabrielson averaging better than 16 points a game. It's 9-5 in favor of the Panthers. Wyndham trying to answer back. Angle comes up with the offensive board, can't put it in. Bodies fly every which way. Ball out of bounds. Back to Bristol with 5.22 left in the opening quarter. Wyndham going with a little bit of pressure. Bristol been able to, to handle it so far or that pressure from Wyndham that peels off across the time stripe into the forecourt controlling things up top is Bobby Evan he's a transfer from Maplewood there's Donatio ball poked free Mallorca raises up off the rim no good good rebound by Donatio for Bristol Ahead of the pack, Elza knifes his way in. A little bit too strong. Offensive rebound, Evan. He flicks it up and in. Evan just more aggressive, went to the boards. Attack, rebound, put back. 11-5. Barely a steal for Bristol. Now there is a steal. Lamosic comes up with it. Ahead to Evan. He fires. Off the glass and in. This is Bristol's pace, really controlling the tempo. They're causing a lot of problems early on with their pressure. Ball is knocked out of bounds as Bristol head coach Craig Easy will go to the bench. Damian Durst is in. Matt Church is in. Bomber basketball. And we have an offensive foul called. This time it was Blaze Engel. And that's an easy call for the officials. You have to be stationary. Fourth team foul. First on Blaze Engel. I was told by some of the Wyndham folks, good luck trying to tell the two angles apart. They're identical. Off the dribble, Gabriel sent, cut off. Whips it back outside. Evan for three. That's an air ball, and it is out of bounds. Back to Wyndham with 4.06 to play. I guess lucky for us, they have numbers on. <laughs> You're right. Eight-point lead for Bristol. Wyndham breaks the press. Mallorca 
on the wing. He's cut off. He now crosses over into the corner. Baseline jumper. Up and good for Terrence Woods. Woods with the patience. Shot fake. Little eight footer on the baseline. Elza. Shot blocked. But there's a whistle and a foul called. It'll be tagged to Mason Engel as we have a media timeout coming. And with 3.45 left to play here in the opening quarter, we will take timeout. 13-7 is our score. Bristol off and running. We're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. Bring in your tax refund and save at the instant markdown sale at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore. We've just made special purchases of Lordstown Belt Chevy Cruises starting from only $10,900, $10,900, and versatile Chevy Equinoxes from only $199, $199 a month with zero down. Plus, we've got 200 cars from $99, $99 a month with zero down. Trucks from $159, $159 a month with zero down. And if you have bad credit from divorce, medical bills, or bankruptcy, we can help you get financed. So bring in your tax refund and get the lowest prices anywhere at the Stadium GM Used Car Superstore in Salem. Seven is our score. Quarter number one, Bristol 13, Wyndham 7. As we welcome you back, it'll be the Panthers to the free throw line. Free throw up, free throw good for Gage Elza. He's been shooting the ball very, very well, and Bristol head coach Craig Giese calls him the glue guy. 76.2% free throw shooter. And it's 15 to 7. Wyndham with the boss. It's Mallorca. Mallorca behind the back. Defended well. Good pressure style defense by Durst. This is Blake I. Cut off right near the elbow. Top of the key. Woods. Right wing. They now feed it underneath. That one up and good for Blake I. However, the walk is called. Wipe it away. And yeah, that's a close play. The officials right there. Wyndham definitely not getting their side of the calls at home tonight. 15-7 is our score. Elza. Onto the wing, into the hands of Durst. Top side. Donatio. Left wing. Three ball up, no good. What a rebound by Church. You said it. Tracked down by the Panthers. Elza, one dribble. Onto the wing, Church fires and hits for three. Not only the second chance point, Elza gets it for the three. 18-7 is our score. Bomber basketball, nearly a walk. Mallorca tracks it down as they bring it across the time stripe. And we have a whistle and a foul. Called on Bristol. It'll be tagged to Damian Durst. You know, Church with that three does a great job of getting himself set. Teammates find him right on the spot. 18 to 7 here. Wyndham's got to put a few things together these last two minutes. Because right now Bristol's playing extremely well. Mallorca defended well by Elsa. There's I. Terrence Woods into the corner. This is Mallorca. On the 217 clock rolling in the first quarter. 11 point lead for Bristol. This is Collins for three. Nope. Gabriel sent the rebound for Bristol. He's swarmed upon. Lamosic up the floor. Underneath. Great look up and good for Bobby Evan. Just so unselfish. Look to attack, find the short corner at 20 to 7. 
13 point lead for the Panthers. Spinning shot up off the rim, no good for Collins. And Bristol comes down with the rebound and will push Elza into the paint. This is Gabrielson. Off the dribble, Evan. Contact off the glass, but it's an offensive foul. Wipe it away as Evan pick up the personal. Just need a little bit of recognition earlier on. Take the little jumper. Nice job by Blaze Angle taking a charge. 93 seconds remaining, and a timeout has been taken by Wyndham. Bombers trailing by 13. Here is what's at stake here tonight. There is plenty. A Wyndham victory will clinch the Northeastern Athletic Conference Stripes Division title outright. However, a Bristol victory means that the Panthers can win a share of the NAC Stripes Division Championship. You can bet that earlier season loss by Bristol to Wyndham is fresh in the Panthers' minds. It sure is, and, and right now, Bristol playing uh, extremely well in this first half. Minute 33 left, and Wyndham has an opportunity here to maybe get a shot, get a little bit closer, but Bristol playing very well offensively, defensively, very impressed early on. Ball in the hands of Woods, they work it underneath. That went a little bit too strong. Cleaned up on the offensive glass by Engel. Plays Engel. A lot of contact yeah. there as bodies hit the deck in a hurry. But the ball is out of bounds as this one coming right at you. And you can see the strip and everyone going up and colliding. Donati Young. And we have a whistle. And a technical foul has been called on Wyndham as we have a foul. It'll be a Bristol foul on Lamosic. And a technical foul on Blaze Angle. It's an illegal screen on Bristol. And it's going to be a technical, so that's going to add to his foul total. So that's going to give him just two on that possession. Now, it was an illegal screen on Bristol and a technical foul on Wyndham. So okay. one on each 33 on each side. So to the free throw line will step Gage Elza. Free throw no good. It stays 20 to 9. Second free throw rattles up and in. And it's 21 to 9. 64 seconds left. Six team fouls called against Bristol. Six on Wyndham. We work it into the corner, but that pass is off the mark, out of bounds. And we'll go back to the Bombers as Craig Easy will go back to the bench. Durst returns, Church returns. And you just look at some of the size. You know, Bristol, just long and, and very lanky guys. You know, they do a nice job of moving their feet, you know, in the traps here. There's that pressure, but it's a reach-in foul called against Bristol. It's Damian Durst, the junior, picking up his second personal. They've not changed the foul total. I think they had it at four, and it was at six, and they moved it to four, and now it's five. Now it's five. So five team fouls on Bristol. Six on Wyndham. This is I. There's a near steal. Loose ball picked up by the Bombers. Woods raises up and knocks it down. The basket counts, and I think we have another foul. After the basket was made... So the basket does count. And there was a Bristol foul 
And, and they're calling it on the box out there. I caught the little uh, tail end, end of it there. Looked like Durst. And that's, that's the third on him. That's start. He was riding him out a little bit and came out of our screen, though, so didn't get a very good look at it. Entry pass. Not towards the baseline, and Collins tried to corral it, but he, too, was out of bounds. And so Bristol has it, as the Panthers, you would imagine, will try to hold for the final shot, or will they? Evan surveys the scene. Well, they got to be pretty content with where they are right now. Ten-point lead, Evan. Outside Gabrielson. And now this is Evan. Down to 13 seconds left in the opening quarter. Gabrielson feeds it underneath. Three patients, and Church stuck it up and in. Just that little ball fake gets the defense moving for the easy bucket. Mallorca trying to beat the buzzer. His shot off the mark, no good. And with that, the first quarter was in the books. 23-11 in favor of Bristol. Quarter number two is next on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. now starting at just ten dollars for tickets call 330-747-7825 they're the classic american family with a twist i raised a moron i love you boopy oh my god no. oh my god but they're the family you can't help but love. Family takes care of family. This is what we do. The Goldbergs feel the love every weeknight. I got you, baby. Oh, God, no, I don't. Weeknights at 6.30 on MyYTV. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. All set for the second quarter. Wyndham and Bristol hooked up in a good one. It's 23-11 in favor of the Panthers as we're all set for quarter number two. And promptly we have a Wyndham turnover right from the get-go in the second quarter. Not the way you want to start the quarter if you're Wyndham with that turnover. Big couple minutes because right now Bristol's playing extremely well. You're going to have to defend, contest some shots, limit their opportunities. At the other end, you got to make a couple. Gabriel Sin. Out of traffic. Ball ends up in the front row. So it will belong to Bristol once again. Evan triggers into Gabriel Sin. There's Evan slashing his way in. He raises up. A little bit too strong. With a rebound down to Terrence Woods of Wyndham. Unable to get the floater. Needed the glass on that one. But still very aggressive. Eric Park whips it back up towards the top of the key. Take away. Gabriel Sim put it up and in. Another unforced turnover. Gabrielson, the recipient with the run out. 25-11 is our score. There's another takeaway. Oh. The walk is called on Donatio as, well, he gave it a, a good, gritty effort. But and that's a good call, Chad, because 
you know, you can go to the ground, but what you can't do is roll over. So he gets to the ground. It's not a travel until he does that. So the ball goes back to the Bombers. Philip Mallorca, right side of Woods. Back up towards the top of the key, Eric Park. Just about a minute into the second quarter. Park, floater, way too strong. The rebound, Gabrielson for Bristol. Over the time stripe into the forecourt. This is Elza. Who walked with the basketball, had an open look at a three, but got some happy feet. You know, sometimes you know, the officials will make that call. You don't have the ball in the air, feet in the air. Uh, and they did that time. So it goes back to the Bombers, but even though there's been some turnovers here, Wyndham hasn't been able to make much headway in terms of cutting into this. And right now, Wyndham just really working for every shot that they have. You got to have another turnover on the carry. You know, that's one of those things where you got to have all three parts over the line. I'm not sure that he did right there. 25-11 is our score. The ball belongs to Bristol. Over the wing, it's Elza. He's out of traffic to the free throw line. Spinning shot no good by Bristol. Wyndham comes down with it. Across the time stripe into the forecourt. Park feeds it off right low. Block up and in. Nicely done for Tyler Collins. And Bristol will call a timeout. With 6.23 left to play in the first half, it's 25-13 in favor of the Panthers. And that's the type of shot that they need. You can see in transition, good body control, the dish by Park, and then the finish for Collins. Every week we'll pick the player of the game. It's one player that has made the greatest impact. It is sponsored by Nightline Embroidery and Screen Printing. We'll feature the player of the game every Monday night at 11 on WKBN 27 First News. Chad Prisprinsky with you on this Friday night. And we've got a lot of, lot of time left in this game. Uh, Bristol yeah, looks very solid. The Wyndham still trying to get their you know, feet underneath them a little bit, you know, making a couple unforced errors. So we're going to see if they can kind of crawl back into this and get this into a single-digit lead. This is Elza to the free throw line. Gabrielson, double clutch, shot block. Gabrielson gets it back to the top of the key. Elza thought about a three, thought better of it. Now he threads the needle underneath. Evan stuck it up and in. Fantastic pass. Collins puts that one up and in. Nicely done as he kind of ducked underneath and flipped it through. Elza at the other end, in traffic, stuck it in. And here's the pace, both these teams score in the 70s, so they're starting to move it up a little bit. Park raises up, short, rebound Elza for Bristol. Across the time stripe into the fourth court, bounce pass underneath. Oh, what a look for Donatio! Bristol, they are a great passing team, unselfish, and you can see it right here. Elza finds Donatio for the finish opportunity for the old-fashioned three-point play. Donatio for the free throw line, knocks it in. He's a 68% free throw shooter. There's another near takeaway by Bristol. That pressure really getting to Wyndham here in the first half. It's 32 to 15. And right now, Bristol's... Uh, they just keep seven guys getting those fresh guys in there. Timeout taken. Comes with 5.17 left. Bristol coming into this one with a record of 15 and 2. Wyndham coming in 16 and 2. Tonight's high school basketball game of the week is being streamed live. On WKBN.com, download the WKBN app to watch our games all season long. And you'll also find high school scores, stories, highlights, plenty more. Download the WKBN mobile app today. You can also find full-length broadcasts of all of our Game of the Week telecasts. 
at WKBM.com. Head there today. Bristol, another takeaway. Lamosic, this time with the theft. Lamosic has it outside the three point line. This is Donatio. Gabrielson, Donatio for three. He's got it! They're just playing pitch and catch right now, right around the perimeter. Donatio dials up one from long distance. 35 15 is our score. Bristol with a major league lead. Eric Park way outside for Wyndham. Now Mallorca. Mallorca takes it to the right side. Three ball up off the rim, no good. Great offensive rebound by Woods. Now Park and Mallorca. He's thinking about a three of his own. Can't get a clean look, however. And now Mallorca will bring it back out front. Mallorca underneath. There's a takeaway, and the ball is kicked by Bristol. And it'll stay with Wyndham with 4.09 left in the first half. Bristol subbing again, just rotating guys, keeping them fresh. Just active defensively, and offensively. Really doing a nice job. Eric Park has the ball in to Collins. Great take off the glass and in. Collins pushed it off the window. Evan with the ball for Bristol. Back up front to Lamosic. This is Evan. Evan directing traffic to Lamosic. Lamosic now finds Elza. Elza left of the lane. There's a takeaway and a whistle and a foul as boy, there's plenty of physicality. Here on the floor in the first half, and with 3.36 left to play, we'll take time out. 35-17, Bristol leading Wyndham. We'll bring you back after this on the WKBN High School Basketball. Keep of the week. Shop 24-7 at stadiumgm.com, where you can view the entire inventory. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. My first time performing in front of an audience was for my great-grandmother singing Bobby Vinton songs in Polish. I don't know Polish, but I sang along in Polish back then. That's where I got my start in the early 90s, my broadcast career, that 50,000-watt blowtorch following the likes of Valley Legends from Boots Bell, Dick Thompson, Thomas John. It taught me the appreciation of the community I was raised in. Local news from local people. Weekday morning starting at 5 a.m. on WYTV. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. And welcome back to Wyndham High School. Bomber country on this Friday night. Some of the best boys teams in and around Trumbull County. Yeah, right now, Chad, I have to say I'm real impressed with Bristol. Yeah, just kind of their athleticism, size. You know, you're looking at 6'4", 6'2", 6'3", 6'2". You know, and, and going into the tournament, they've got a lot of components, a lot of pieces. You know, guys understand how to play the game, very unselfish. Uh, looking forward to see what these guys can do as well. As we welcome you back, Tyler Collins to the free throw line. And he's short on the one and one. And Gabrielson with a rebound for Bristol. This is Evan. Back outside to Gabrielson. 325 and a rolling clock in the second quarter. Bristol with a commanding 35-17 lead at the moment. Underneath, baseline take. Gabrielson can't stick it in. He hits the deck. Went in with a rebound off the miss. Mallorca races ahead of the pack. Into the hands of Collins. He thought about the three and now whips it back outside to Woods. Closing in on three minutes left to play. Eric Park for three. Way off the mark. Mallorca with a long offensive rebound. Into the corner, Woods. And we have a whistle and a reach-in foul called 
against Bristol. It'll be tagged to Elza. And that's his second foul, Chad. And you look at it, Wyndham really, you know, having to work for every single shot here, you know, and, and getting a couple open ones, not able to knock them down. Get to the free throw line, build some of that confidence, cut into this lead. Free throw up, and it is short again. Gabrielson races it ahead into the hands of Evan, who puts it up and in. Evan's really done a nice job tonight. Just like how he plays, very smooth, packs the glass, sees the floor very well. 20-point lead for Bristol and another turnover. The steal by Donatio. Panthers not taking their feet off the gas pedal collectively. Upside Lamosic. You said it, Chad. It, it's, it's all of them together that, that are really putting together a performance, and they get the travel call uh, with the turnover back to Wyndham. Round to 221 left in the second quarter. It is a 20-point Bristol lead. Back to the bench goes Craig Easy. It's Mike Wiebe checking in. Park brings it across for Wyndham. Park inside the paint, whips it into the corner. Eye for three, nope. Rebound down to Lamosic. Oh, behind the back goes Lamosic. Here's Gabrielson raising up, no good. And the rebound down to Wyndham's Mason Engel. Engel slices his way to the free throw line, puts it up, it's no good. And the rebound down to Bristol's Bobby Evan. Evan to the line, to the lane, floater up. Offensive foul, Paul against Evan. And that's another good call. Evan just a little bit out of control. I believe that might be his, his, his second one, just the same way. And you gotta be able to pull up and, and shoot that little soft touch and not continue to float into that defense. Good charge there by Wyndham. A buck 50 left for the second quarter. Mallorca inside the three-point line. I. This is Park. He crosses over into the paint. He raises up off the glass and in. That's more high percentage shot like when guys use the window. The feed underneath goes to Church. Now Gabrielson and Lamosic. Closing in on the final minute. Lamosic. There's a takeaway by Wyndham. Mason Engel to the line, to the lane. Puts it up and in. Mason Angle trying to be a little spark, cut into this 20-point lead. Got a couple buckets in a row. The deficit is 16. Lamosic hands to Donatio. This is Gabrielson. Down to 47 seconds as the Panthers remaining very deliberate and very patient. Trying to close off this first half of the bang. And now there's a Wyndham foul. Called on Mason Engel. And that'll be his third, Chad. And anytime you run through the defender or the offensive player, chances are you're gonna get a foul call. Well, he was very much in disagreement, but <laughs> not much to disagree with there. There's no disputing that foul call as Gabrielson will step to the stripe, but he flicks it up and in. You know, as you look at the roster here, Chad, you see uh, Lamosic, Evan, uh, you know, Gabrielson, you know, all these guys, uh, you know, are the senior late team and veteran team, and you can kind of feel that. Free throw, rattles in. Uh, Donatio, all these guys just have that kind of veteran feel to them. Very composed. Yeah. Up the floor comes Park. Here's Mallorca. Rainbow three, that's a good looking shot. And that was one of the first times they've overrun the play. And Mallorca was able to, to get the wide open look. 39-24, final seconds of the first half. Gabrielson, good take, shot blocked. But a foul is called. And that's the same instance that we always talk about, Chad. Yeah, that might have been clean, but anytime you swat down with that type of aggression, 
you know, chances are you're, you're gonna get the foul call. You gotta jump second, you know, and just contest and not swat down. Gabrielson, 64.8 as a free throw shooter. He comes in as the leading scorer for this Bristol Bunch. He nails the next one, 16.4 points a game. Inside of 10 seconds left in the second quarter. Park, cross court toss to I, who penetrates. Offensive foul called. Blake Guy, that's going to be his first. That might have traveled before he got the ball, but great position. Gabrielson doing it all. Lamosic has the ball into Gabrielson. It's taken away. Mallorca fires at the buzzer. It is no good, and the first half is now in the books. We've reached halftime here in Bomber Country. It is Bristol 41. Wyndham 24. Our halftime festivities begin after this. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Make the short drive to Stadium GM in Salem, Ohio to find your next vehicle. Find new roads to the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Current Chevy lessees, you can save up to 32% on a new Chevy Cruze. That's a huge savings. You can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive Chevy Silverado for only $239 a month with zero down. And a new Chevy Equinox right now is only $249 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Come to the Wrist Connection featuring Michelle Design Works' newest collection, Papillon. Butterflies abound with bath bombs, shea butter soap, and hand lotions. Something for every room in the house. To make your Valentine's Day gift as special as the one you love, go to the Wrist Connection. The world changes quickly, and the news that matters to you happens 24 hours a day, seven days a week. WYTV.com, your local news source, bringing you stories from across the Mahoning Valley. And with WYTV.com, all the information you need is in your hands no matter where you go. Your pinpoint forecast, the very latest news from across the community, and breaking stories all in one place. WYTV.com, your home for community news. Oh, uh, yeah, let me get uh, one of them there, Daybreak. Man, I need a nugget of knowledge. How long? Well, we're finishing up right now, coming up at 610. Freshen up. But make room for me. I'm up in 10 minutes. You'll never believe where I'm going. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got a breaking news update coming up. Uh, weather in the threes. Big changes for the weekend. Update is up in five minutes. But up next is Daybreak Nation on location. Have a great day. Their morning is busy just like yours, but they love serving you every day starting at 5 a.m. There's no crime more chilling, no secret more revealing, no story more surprising than a real-life Dateline mystery. Follow every twist and turn five times a week with Dateline. Weeknights at 10 on MyYTV. And welcome back to Wyndham High School. We're here at halftime. It is Bristol leading Wyndham by a score of 41 to 24. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski back courtside alongside Will Klusenik. We talked off the top an earlier season loss back in December, and it was Wyndham coming away with a two-point victory revenge on the minds of Bristol, and they showed it in the first half. You know, Bristol misses some key components early on, but boy, are they doing an excellent job in this game of, of controlling the tempo, getting outstanding shots and getting those high percentage shots. Let's revisit our keys to the game, which are brought to you by our friends with Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. Again, it starts in the rebounding department. And I think both teams, you know, controlling the boards, it's been pretty even. Nothing really stands out. But what does stand out is the execution, transition, and the pressure of Bristol. So they're picking their spots and taking advantage of it. And then finally, Bristol's definitely being aggressive and controlling the game and the tempo. And remember, there certainly is a heck of a lot on the line here tonight. A Bristol victory will earn the Panthers at least a share of the conference championship. A Wyndham victory wins the Bombers the conference title outright. When we come back, highlights, first half numbers, and a whole lot more. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. 
Local news from local people. 33 WYTV. to Taylor Kia of Boardman now. Get up to $8,000 over Kelly Blue Book fair market value for your trade toward the purchase of any select Kia in stock. 0% financing for 75 months and no payments until April 2018 available. 2018 Kia Optima LX or Kia Sportage LX. Just $119 per month lease. Have a job bringing home $350 per week? We want to approve you. Taylor Kia of Boardman.com. Welcome to Youngstown Phantom Talk. Tickets are on sale now, starting at just $10. For tickets, call 330-747-7825. At the Serenity Center, we recognize that mental health does not discriminate. At the Serenity Center, our medical providers use a comprehensive approach to help individuals and families reach their goals. At the Serenity Center, we understand that everyone's needs are different. Our clinicians are here to help. At the Serenity Center, we offer case management and aftercare program and programs for young men. At Serenity Center, we provide mental health and recovery services. Check out our Facebook page at Serenity Center, LLC. At Serenity Center, we listen. There's some encouraging news when it comes to teenage drug abuse in Trumbull County. New at 11, why health experts think the number of kids who abuse substances is dropping. Plus, a prayer before games comes under fire in a local school district. We'll let you know what happened in West Branch when their basketball team took the court. And everything but the kitchen sink weekend ahead with a chance for a wintry mix and temperatures around the freezing mark. I'll fill you in on how this storm will impact your weekend tonight at 11. There aren't many open seats here at Wyndham High School here tonight to take this one in in a battle of two of the really, really good teams in the Northeastern Athletic Conference. It's Bristol 41, Wyndham 24 here as we have reached halftime. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasminski alongside Will Klusenik. It's been exactly what we thought, very up-tempo, lots of pressure. Advantage, however, Bristol, at least through one half of play. And I think what the advantage is, is they're doing an outstanding job of, of moving the ball, getting high percentage shots, and being unselfish. Let's take a look at our first half numbers, which are brought to you by Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. What stands out to you, Will? The field goal percentage, you can look at that. Getting easier shots, high percentage shots, and we talked about it, Wyndham working for a lot more shots and getting contested shots. This Bristol team so fundamentally sound, always looking to make the extra pass. Gage Elza with an absolute bullet to Bobby Evan underneath, threaten the needle. Evan takes advantage as we take a look at some of our miscellaneous numbers. The rebounding edge goes the way of Bristol. On the other side for Wyndham, lots of different folks getting in on the act. Tyler Collins was the big gun, and that one right off the inbounds pass with great strength underneath as he puts that one up off the window as we look at our leading scores. And you can see you got Evan with 12 points, Collins with six. And Wyndham's going to need a lot more high percentage shots, buckets to go to get, crawl back into this one. It all adds up to a 41-24 Bristol lead over Wyndham when we come back. We'll have the second half. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. This halftime report is sponsored by Akron Children's Hospital, Mahoning Valley. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. If you have been injured due to the fall of another, chances are you'll be going up against an insurance company to receive compensation for your injuries, lost wages, and medical expenses. These insurance companies have their own team of lawyers and experts on their side. That is why it is important you choose a law firm with both the experience and financial resources necessary to fight for you. I'm Dallas Hartman, and the attorney you choose does make a difference. Is he cute or am I just wearing horny goggles? Guys. He made the Dean's List. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the Dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. 
Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on MyYTV. I think any kid loves the fact that when there's snow, it's, oh, are, are we going to have school tomorrow? You know, as you become an adult, it's more of a concern for treacherous roadways. Black ice can be a concern. I need to help people be prepared. I need to make sure that they know when it's hitting, that they know how much to expect, and that they know the impacts on them. It can be dangerous. This winter, trust WYTV on air, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, and Groover Roofing and Siding. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. The third quarter, it is 41-24 in favor of Bristol as we welcome you back. Chad Krasminski, Will Klusenik with you. Wyndham with plenty of work to do, but with the way they can score and where they have all season long they can make a big time comeback in a hurry and with that kind of pressure that's the turnover that's the start the bombers need it exactly you gotta start off gotta be aggressive not gonna be able to sit back you know if you're Wyndham you've got to attack get those high percentage shots you know, maybe get some uh, Bristol players into foul trouble Mason Engel fought that one up unable to get it to drop in He'll go to the free throw line as the foul is called on Brian Gabrielson. Second foul on Gabrielson as Mason Engel, just a sophomore, steps to the line, a 61% free throw shooter. And when you're down by a big-time deficit, it's important, as you know, you're not going to get it all back at once. You know, it's one possession at a time. Again, very cliche, but you've got to get the easy points, get the layups, knock down the free throws. And you've got to start getting that mentality of stop, score, stop. Just three possessions, work, work it, work it, and see what you can do. And you can see the swat down. You're going to get that call every time, even though it's clean. Bobby Evan went back to work, and he was drilled. And that'll be the first Wyndham team foul. Terrence Woods picks up his second. Evan. A senior steps back to the stripe. It's up and perfect to make it 42-26. Evan transferred from Maplewood for his senior year. He had to sit out the first 11 games, but boy, he's been a welcome addition, and we've seen that here tonight. John, I was thinking the same thing. Boy, he's blended in well. You know, the NBA trade deadline was wow. yesterday. <laughs> from the free throw line, that shot is short. Lamosic skies for the rebound for Bristol. Evan pitches to Elza, slicing into the paint. Gabrielson for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound tapped and controlled by Mason Engel of Wyndham. This is Park threading the needle. Mason Engel off the glass and in. That was very pretty. Park to Mason Engel using the glass. Evan. Puts that one up. Very aggressive, and he's able to draw the foul. I think they just got Terrence Woods. Yep. So Woods picks up the personal. Second team foul, third personal on Woods. Evan, two for two from the line. And now three for three. Good looking free throw stroke. 72.7% as a free throw shooter is Bobby Evan. Definitely a nice addition to the squad. Free throw tapped around. Off the miss, Gabrielson takes it back up to the top of the key, Elza. Elza nearly has his pocket pick. Great cut. Gabrielson up and in, plus the foul. And there's that unselfishness we talk about, Chad. The cut, the delivery, and the finish. Just always have their head up. Elza, Gabrielson, that's great to see. Second foul, by the way, on Blaze Engel. Free throw, no good for Gabrielson, but Evan 
Went over the back for that rebound. And that'll be the third on him. He's going to have to take a seat on the bench. He is replaced by Matt Church. Okay, that's what we talked about. 6-2, Evan goes out. Church comes in at 6-4. Mallorca over to Engel. Takes it baseline off the glass and in. Blaze Angle starting to be uh, active. Both these guys, Mason and Blaze, so, so they're going to try to lead the charge. Down 16. You know, you're looking at six minutes to go left in this game. Somehow, somewhere, if you can kind of get this cut in half by the quarter, you know, that's what you're looking to do. But right now, Bristol really in control, not in a hurry, and you can see that confidence and that leadership that they have. Travel. Yep. Gabrielson saw a little bit of an opening. Tried to get there a little quicker, and he shuffled the shoes. Turnover back to Wyndham. Can't emphasize enough, no lead is safe because with the way these two teams score, Wyndham can get right back into this, so Bristol will need to stay aggressive. Nice take by Park. And that's what you talked about, and I'm sure Bristol doesn't like the way this is headed. Yep, timeout. Craig Easy will call a timeout with 5.51 left to play. Here in the third quarter, all of a sudden, that deficit is just 14. You know, and these are the shots that they didn't get early on, you know, with uh, Blaze Angle, Mace Angle getting the shots early on, Park getting a layup. Those are the type of shots that get you into it. Everyone thinks you just got to start shooting the three, you know, and, and get going. And But if you miss those, that's when the deficit gets larger. You know, you work your way in, you get those high percentage shots, you build that confidence, you know, and kind of work your way out. And that's what Wyndham's doing right now. You know, one possession, you know, stop, score, stop. So now they're getting those stops on defense, able to crawl back into it little by little here. 46-32 is our score. Bristol basketball, the most sick triggers into Gabrielson. Gabrielson races it ahead. He's cut off at the top of the key into the hands of Donatio. And now Gabrielson is defended by Engel. Here is Donatio. Around to the right side, and Bristol now. Looks like it will try to run some clock. Off the dribble, Donatio. Into the corner, Elza. Gabrielson floats it up and in. Spread it out, run four corners. Get guys cut, and you lose sight of your man for a second. Gabrielson makes him pay. Mallorca to Angle in the corner. Three ball up and good. Angle starting to heat up a little bit. Starting to feel it. 48-35. The plot thickens as Gabrielson one hands it to Lamosic. This is Donatio. Over to Gabrielson. Ball knocked out of bounds. Another turnover. And it goes back to Wyndham. You know, that's one of those things. You know, you're trying to run a little bit of clock. You know, sometimes you get out of your rhythm, your momentum a little bit. You, know, you don't want to be tentative, you know, but you also want to make sure that you know, you're, you're not ruining the flow of what you're doing. Because Wyndham starting to build that confidence right now. Dribble drive by Collins. Spinning shot. And it bounces in. You said it, Chad. Rubber rim there. Bounces in. Collins cuts it to 11. Gabrielson into the paint. Nicely done. Gabrielson not to be outdone. Gets a much needed bucket for Bristol. The lead is 13. Top side, Mallorca in rhythm. Up no good. Gabrielson with the rebound as the pace has picked up. This is Donatio. Outside Lamosic as we approach the midway point of the corner. Take away by the Bombers. Mallorca with numbers. Ball knocked out of bounds with 4.01 left to play in the third quarter. And right now, Chad, Wyndham's ahead of schedule. You know, we talked about it. You know, you know could you cut that into single digits? A point lead. You've got a lot of time. They're well ahead of schedule. You know, but what they got to realize is keep the tempo, keep making good decisions, taking high percentage shots, and be aggressive. Park up front for the Bombers. He's cut off just inside the three point line. Now Mallorca takes it back. 3.50 left in the third quarter. This is Woods. Back up to the top of the key. Park. 
Into the paint, right near the elbow. Onto the wing, raises up. Off the rim, no good. Offensive rebound for the Bombers. And we have a whistle, and what? There's a double dribble. That's a nice rebound, now I know, trying to track it down. Timeout on the floor, 334 left to play in the third. Wyndham has life. It's 50 to 37 in favor of Bristol on the WKBN High School Basketball. Give it a week. Stadium GM only uses certified technicians and genuine replacement parts. If it's not Barry Dingles, it's not barbecue. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Raccoon Road, Austin Town. Pediatric interventional radiology can help prevent some kids from having to go to surgery. Instead of doing an incision that might require stitches, we can do a procedure that just requires a small bandage when we're done. There's less pain after the procedure, they recover quickly, and most of my patients go home on the same day. You know, when my patients thank me when they come out of the operating room because they don't have pain anymore, that's the most rewarding part about my job. More than just great Q. Funny name, fabulous food. Barry Dingles, Austin Town. 50 to 37 and I think we have some breaking news to pass along. I think Will Klusenik just won the 50-50 here. You always play, try to donate, Chad. That's what I try to do. Wow. You well, said, I didn't he have said that on TV. I might not, might not make it back home, well, no, Chad. Proof. If I did not have bad luck, I wouldn't have any luck at all. Baseball pass down the floor. Bristol has it. It's Gage Elza into the corner. Off the dribble comes Church. And now back outside to Evan. Evan crosses over, slices into the paint. Evan puts it up and in. Evan been really impressed with him. Just, just the poise and able to attack. Jump stops that time for the finish. 52-37 is our score in favor of Bristol. Into the corner, eye for three, off the mark. Rebound to Evan for Bristol. And we have a whistle and a reach-in foul called against Wyndham. And it looks like I picks up the personal. And right now, if you're Wyndham, you know, you, you've done a nice job, and that's going to be the second one on I. You, you've done a nice job to crawl back into this three minutes to go. You know, try to get this down you know, in that single digit range. Gabrielson. The baseline, lowered the shoulder, no call. Elsa for three, around it, it comes out. Cleaned up, Gabrielson, able to draw. Not the foul, it's a jump ball called. And the possession arrow points the way of the Bombers. And, that, and that's a, just getting the deflection, getting the hand in there, you know, and not foul, that's a big play. So again, now if you're Wyndham, you gotta make a solid decision down at this end, high percentage shot. Tyler Collins, good touch. Off the rim, however. Down the floor, Tommy Donatio, clear, pass shot blocked! But a foul has been called. Mason Angle in disagreement again. Two free throws upcoming. Here's another look at it. What do you think? <laughs> he, he got a lot of the ball. Rebound up. Free throw up, no good. You know, and I, I think because the, the player went flying uh, towards the backstop there, might have looked like there was yeah. more contact than there was. So good sell. Couple of free throw misses there. Wyndham races it ahead of the pack. Park fires and hits. Park picking up the game a little bit. Stop and pop for two. Gabrielson not wasting any time. He put it up and in. We said it, Chad. Didn't waste any time. Electric down the floor and finish. 54-39, Park. Feeds to Collins. Shot blocked underneath. Lamosic gives to Gabrielson. He stops and pops. The rubber rim is kind. He put it in. And there's where you talk about Bristol. You know, you, you cut into this lead. 
and, and they are right back at you. There's a takeaway by the Panthers. It is controlled underneath. Short on the shot. It won't go. And off the miss, Mallorca with the rebound. He has swarmed upon Mallorca. Fires. It's tracked down by Church. They feed it into the corner. Denario for three. He knocked it down. Timeout on the floor. 118 left to play in the third quarter. Bristol has exploded. It's another 20-point lead. And just like that, Chad, 20 points. You can see you know, Bristol does a great job of playing in those spurts, using that defense to create an offense, find the open man in the corner. Donatio, bang. 59-39 is our score. Remember the first time that these two teams met, it was Wyndham coming away with a 69-67 victory. However, it is important to point out that Bristol was without Gage Elza and Bobby Evan. Evan has been especially impressive here tonight. Yeah, both those guys are difference makers. Gabrielson has absolutely exploded, especially here in the second half. He has 21 points. And a lot of those have come in transition off a of Wyndham make, where he just says, look, if you nap, I'm going to take it myself and lay it in. 20-point lead as we approach the final minute of this third quarter. Mallorca fires short. Rebound knocked out of bounds. And it's going to go back to Wyndham. Now you, you expend so much energy trying to claw back into it, you know, cutting it to that 13-point lead and, and you get a couple buckets by Bristol, couple steals, you know, and, and really deflate you and get you back to that 20-point lead. Wyndham tried to do the little trick of bouncing the ball off one of the defenders. However, the guy that inbounded it was out of bounds, and so it's a turnover back to Bristol. Inside the final minute of the third quarter, Gabrielson over to Lamosic. This is Elza. I gotta imagine, yeah, Chad, they're pretty content here after this 20 points. Gonna get the last shot of the quarter here right now. Another 35 seconds left. There's Donatio feeding it underneath. Double clutch foul called as Matt Church took it to the rack with great strength and was hacked. And it is going to be a foul on Blaze Engel. That's number three on number 33. So Church to the free throw line has not been to the free throw line yet. And he puts the first one in. He's an 84.8% free throw shooter. I beg your pardon. It's going to be the fourth foul on Blaze Angle as the second free throw is up and good for Church. So that fourth foul forces Blaze Angle to the Wyndham bench. We're inside a half minute to play in the third. Reach-in foul called against Bristol. Looks like they got Donatio. So Wyndham basketball. Mallorca works it across to Park. Park bounce pass underneath. Collins cleans it up. Collins picks it up and in. Final seconds of the third. Gabrielson slices through. Gabrielson raises up for three. Back of the rim, no good. And with that, the third corner is in the books. 
20-point lead for Bristol. Final eight minutes, follow these words of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Apply now for a no-obligation car loan at StadiumGM.com. It's the best sales event of the year. It's Auto Show bonus time at the Stadium GM Superstore. Right now, you can lease a new double cab four-wheel drive GMC Sierra for only $189 a month with zero down. A new Buick Encore is only $199 a month with zero down. A new GMC Terrain is only $229 a month with zero down. And a new GMC Acadia is only $239 a month with zero down. Plus, bring in your trade-in for more money than anywhere else. All at the store that always saves you more. The Stadium GM Superstore in Salem. Looking for that carefree retirement lifestyle you deserve? Villa Living at Copeland Oaks offers beautiful, maintenance-free homes at affordable monthly rental. Enjoy friendly folks in a quiet, safe neighborhood setting. These charming, unique homes offer many amenities, plus all the benefits of community living. Fall in love with retirement living at its very best. Visit us online or in person to experience the Copeland Oaks difference. Helping our Valley lead healthier lives. Join me, WYTV's Jim Loboy, at the Red Party Heart Ball, benefiting the American Heart Association. It's a night of dinner, dancing, and live entertainment. Saturday, February 24th at the Metroplex Expo Center. Get your tickets at youngstownheartball.heart.org. We'll celebrate lives like ours, touched by cardiovascular diseases and stroke. Be a part of the solution at the Red Party Heart Ball, February 24th. There's some encouraging news when it comes to teenage drug abuse in Trumbull County. New at 11, why health experts think the number of kids who abuse substances is dropping. Plus, a prayer before games comes under fire in a local school district. We'll let you know what happened in West Branch when their basketball team took the court. And everything but the kitchen sink weekend ahead with the chance for a wintry mix and temperatures around the freezing mark. I'll fill you in on how this storm will impact your weekend tonight at 11. Eight minutes to play here in Bomber Country. It's a 20-point lead for Bristol over Wyndham. Chad Kraspinski, Wolf Lucinic back with you. Bombers open up the fourth quarter with a turnover. Angle able to draw the contact and the foul. A little more pep in the step for the Bombers to start the fourth period. Angle will step to the free throw line. Is that Bristol foul tag to Bobby Evan? That is his fourth. And, and that's a developing situation. You know, Mason Angle with 13 points tonight, perfect from the foul line. The Wyndham's not going to go quietly. Mason Angle puts the free throw up and in. Evan sits down. Back in for Bristol is Matt Church. Angle, just a sophomore, drills the second one to make it a 61 43 ball game. Donatio. Hands it off to Gabrielson. Great luck left side. Up and good for Elza. Little pocket pass. Finish for Elza. 63-43 in favor of Bristol. Mallorca gives it onto the wing to Park. Park slices through. Rainbow shot won't go. Gabrielson with a rebound. Gabrielson ahead of the pack to Elza. Out of the line to the lane. He raises up. It is short. Rebound cleaned up. Set. Second chance points. Right place, right time. Gabrielson on point. Collins. Easy look. And an easy two. Ball out of bounds. It'll stay with Bristol. With 7.03 remaining in the fourth quarter. Tell you what. We're going to have a difficult decision when this one is all said and done. Regarding who will be named our player of the game. Seen some big time performances for the Panthers here tonight. There is a whistle and a foul called on Mason Engel. And that will be it for Mr. Engel. You get the reach like that, you're going to get the call. Try to go with the theatrics. But uh, good night for him. Gabriel Sen will look to add to his point total. He's been piling up the points, especially 
in this second half. Off the miss. Ball is tapped by Gerst outside to Nadio. For three, it won't go. Still loose on the floor. Mallorca behind the back. Great feed. Collins puts it up. Shot was partially blocked. Tracked down by Parks. And it is a foul called on Donatio. Wyndham's making the game the way it needs to be. Now you've got to start kind of just trying to anticipate, trying to gamble, you know, and create a little bit of havoc, and they're doing that. But you can see right there, excellent block by Donatio. Collins has it into Park. Park takes it over to the left side, picks up that dribble, feeds it underneath, middle of the paint. Woods can't get it to go. Off the miss, ball is still loose. Picked up, Collins puts it up and in. Second chance point. 65-47. Gage Elza raises up off the back of the rim, no good. And Elza picks up the rebound of the offensive glass. And it is a foul called on Elza. As he tried to come up with the offensive board. And right now we're still at 18 points. But definitely an uphill battle. But definitely have the tempo that they need now. Mallorca raises up for three. Short. Off the miss. Lamosic tears it down. Gabrielson gives it over to Durst, who now pulls it back out front to Lamosic. Gabrielson. Now Donatio with the ball. Into the paint. Donatio back outside Durst as we're inside of six minutes left to play. Damian Durst, wide open look, but he lost the handle, out of bounds, back to Wyndham. Just enough of a deflection, he opened up, had to clear lane, just couldn't handle it. Yeah. Wyndham doing nice, I'm just you know, getting enough piece of the ball, get the deflection. Well, Bristol's gonna keep their pressure on as well. 65-47 is our score, Wyndham ball. This is Park in traffic. Forces it up and won't go. Rebound cleaned up underneath. Ball ricochets into the hands of Donatio. Donatio feeds it right side. Pass intercepted by Mallorca. Mallorca stops and pops for three, and he's got it! Timeout called with 5.15 left to play. It's a 15-point ball game that was awfully close to the foot being on the three-point line. Take a look here. Boy, perfect. Good uh, call by the officials. Yep, absolutely perfect. Now, you're in a 15-point deficit. You know, you start talking about it with 5.15 left in the game. You know, you start working the games in halves here where, you know, we've, you know it's about the 2.30 mark, somewhere in there. Can we, can we cut this lead in half? Can we get it to that seven or eight to a manageable number? You know, but again, it starts with defense. Can you get the stops? You've got to probably realize that Bristol's going to go to that four corners, try to slow it down a little bit, you know, be very meticulous. You know, and that got him in a little bit of trouble last time where they tried to slow it down you know, and, and step off the pedal a little bit. And we know Wyndham's going to continue to be aggressive here. So we're going to see if they can create some more of this havoc to cut into this lead. It just seems every time that Wyndham makes a little headway, Bristol explodes with an offensive onslaught that typically has been defense leading to offense, and they use that transition game, and they build that cushion yeah. right back up. Yeah, and that's happened a couple times, and now, you know, if you're Wyndham, you can't give up any easy bucket. But Coach Geezy doing an excellent job with his team. Ball is in to Bobby Evan. Evan has been strong all night. He brings it across the time stripe to Elza. Elza to the top of the key, Evan, and Mallorca picks up the personal. His first. So Evan to the free throw line. Ready, aim, fired, no good. Evan crashes the boards. 
He now takes it back and raises up. Baseline jumper up and good. That's a really nice soft touch. Just a floater, about a four or five footer on the baseline. Knocks it in. 67-50 is our score. Park nearly loses the handle. Here's Mallorca feeding it into the corner to I. I back to Collins. Backing in, nearly walked. Collins puts it up at his short. Gabrielson with the rebound for Bristol. Ball in the hands of Evan. Here's Gabrielson. And now Evan into the corner. Elza for three. No good. Another offensive rebound to Bristol. It's tapped out front to Evan. This is Donatio, who's tripped up, loses the handle. It's controlled by Park to the line, to the lane, scoops it up, no good. Collins, follow. That's no good. It was an air ball on a fadeaway layup opportunity. And Evan will now bring it across for Bristol. And with that, we have a whistle and a reach-in foul with 3.48 left to play. Here in quarter number four, 67-50 is our score. Bristol up by 17. We'll have the final 348 when we come back to the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Apply now for a no-obligation car loan at StadiumGM.com. Windsor House offers comprehensive rehabilitation and customized physical therapy plans designed for me, for me, for you. Learn more about Windsor House short-term rehabilitation at windsorhouseinc.com. February is Auto Show Bonus Cash Month at Diane Sauer Chevrolet with savings up to $1,000 on select models or lease an 18 Silverado 4x4 double cab with loyalty for only $222 a month. With zero down in loyalty, an Equinox for $217 a month, or a Trax LT for $172. Now is the best time to buy. Discover the Diane difference at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. The road to savings begins this way. Diane Sauer Chevrolet. With five assisted living communities in Mahoning and Trumbull counties, Windsor House provides a tradition of caring while promoting independent lifestyles. Learn more about Windsor House assisted living communities at windsorhouseinc.com. Three minutes, 48 seconds left to play. 67.50 is our score. Bobby Evan for Bristol at the free throw line. Evan, ready, aim, fire, no good. Evan ends up with it again, off the miss. It's happened a couple of times already. Evan into the paint, puts it up, no good. Park with the rebound for Wyndham. Eric Park, left side, cut off left of the lane. Out of the wing, Mallorca on the right side. Off balance shot, won't go. Rebound, Lamosic. For Bristol, ahead to Gabrielson. Bristol will wisely pull it back out front. Yeah, right now they're very content. They do a nice job of, of running the delay here, the four corners. You know, you can see when their man doubles, you know, they look to just kind of split off of that. You know, and not going to take any ill-advised shots. Going to look to attack and get the high percentage. Off the glass and in, plus the foul. Matt Church kissed it off the window. Now that's pretty much how it's gone all night. The Wyndham's trying to make the run, but you can see just the unselfishness. Church high off the glass with the opportunity for the three-point play for Church. the sophomore. Church is the tallest Bristol Panther on the roster, according to head coach Craig Giese. It is 70 to 50 in favor of the Panthers. Who with a win can clinch a share of the Stripes Division Championship in the NAC. Bombers draw a little bit closer, but unless something changes dramatically, it'll be Bristol heading home with a big smile on their collective faces. Elza, teardrop, it bounces in. And, and that's the shot, you know, the high percentage shots. You know, just the decisions, you know, and just playing both ends of the floor 
with, with Bristol tonight ha has been very impressive. 2-16 in the rolling fourth quarter clock. I to Mallorca. Under the wing, Eric Park. He penetrates. Cut off by Donatio. They feed it to the free throw line. Woods, too strong. Lamosic with the rebound. No need for a sense of urgency now. Gabrielson, out of traffic, gives to Donatio. Now Elzo will pull it back out front, takes a baseline, puts it up, no good. Rebound off the miss, comes down to Wyndham's. Andrew Yeager. The free throw line. That one bounces up and in for Eric Park. 72-54 is our score. And the ball is out of bounds. And we'll go back to Wyndham. That's one of those uh, just kind of rare turnovers from Bristol. They've been pretty on point tonight. Just right through the five hole. 115 left to play. In this one on this Friday night, Park spins, fires, misses. Evan with the rebound. And we have a Wyndham foul called. Bristol has four players in double figures tonight. And we've been really impressed with what yeah. they've been able to do. A very well-rounded team. Yeah. You know, and what I like, Chad, is, is they do it on both ends of the floor. They'll create a lot of that offense with their defense. But also, you know, when they get in the half court, they do a really nice job of executing. Very unselfish. You know, they understand time, scores, and situation. You know, Coach Giese really has to be proud of these guys. The way that they're coming into shape come tournament time. They have some high hopes moving towards tournament play. And they've been very impressive here tonight as we're now inside the final minute of the fourth quarter as Mallorca goes baseline and the ball bounces off. Gabriel sending out of bounds. With 45.4 ticks left. Park fires it in. High, short. High ends up with it. That one off the front of the rim, no good. And the rebound down to Evan for Bristol. Ahead of the pack, Gabrielson. And now you'd imagine Bristol's going to wind this thing down and yeah, I can't believe it. There's, uh, you just let it run out here a little bit. Hopefully not get the five-second call, but you get the turnover. Turnover to Park. Underneath, off the glass and in for Terrence Woods. The timeout has been called with 14.2 seconds left in the ball game. And Craig Easy, albeit with a huge Bristol lead, He's really, really given it to some of his guys for kind of lollygagging it on that last offensive possession, which led to a Wyndham basket. Yeah, it leads to a basket. You know, you want to finish the game strong. Uh, you know, you don't want to end on that type of turnover. But again, Coach Giese, has got to be real happy with the way his team performed tonight uh, on both ends of the floor, the intensity, the aggressiveness they brought to the, brought to the table. You know, Wyndham. Uh, Bristol was just a little too much tonight for Wyndham. But again, don't count them out. They've got a lot of pieces as well with Mallorca, Woods, Park, you know, the Angle brothers. Yeah, the great thing about this, Chad, it doesn't end your season. That's right. You, you learn from it, you're objective, and you move on. Looking ahead for Bristol and what lies ahead. Three road games for the Panthers. Visit to Garfield, to Western Reserve Academy, and to Liberty. Boy, it won't be long now before the brackets are finalized. Final five seconds, tick on down. And you can book this one to the Bristol Panthers. Bristol has clinched a share of the NAC. 
Stripes Division Championship with tonight's victory. Final score, Bristol 74, Wyndham 56. We'll bring you back and get our post-game coverage started following these words. You're watching live coverage of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Stadium GM is proud to sponsor the High School Basketball Game of the Week. Nightline Embroidery and Screen Print in Girard has been a proud sponsor of the Player of the Game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. Welcome to Youngstown Phantoms Hockey. Tickets are on sale now, starting at just $10. For tickets, call 330-747-7825. Proud sponsor of the player of the game for over 10 years. For all of your personalized school or business apparel, event and business signs and posters, they've got you covered. There's only one place to go, Nightline, West Liberty Street, Girard. I think any kid loves the fact that when there's snow, it's, oh, are, are we going to have school tomorrow? You know, as you become an adult, it's more of a concern for treacherous roadways. Black ice can be a concern. I need to help people be prepared. I need to make sure that they know when it's hitting, that they know how much to expect, and that they know the impacts on them. It can be dangerous. This winter, trust WYTV on air, online, and on your phone. Sponsored by Northern Ohio Honda Dealers, Dallas Hartman Attorneys at Law, and Groover Roofing and Siding. And welcome back to Bomber Country, where it is Bristol coming away with a 74-56 victory over the Wyndham Bombers. And it is a share of the Stripes Division Championship for the Panthers here tonight. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krasminski. So pleased to be joined by our player of the game, Brian Gabrielson. He notches a double-double, 23 points and 10 rebounds. And first of all, congratulations on the win how gratifying is it to know that you have won at least a share of that conference championship? Oh, it means a lot, you know. Uh, when they beat us on our home floor, you know, it really stung us. So, uh, we wanted to come back here, you know, get a win, uh, get that knack, chair of the knack again, you know. Um, it, it meant a lot. Yeah, it really, really hurt us when they beat us on our home court. We wanted to get back here and uh, get a win and chair the knack. That was exactly where I was going next. How much did you think about that back on December 22nd? You guys blow the 13-point lead in the fourth quarter, and then you come back and you put it all together here tonight. You, of course, were missing a few players at that particular ball game, but you come back and you get it done. How much did that motivate you coming in? Oh, that meant, that motivated us a lot. You know, we uh, ever since that we've been working really hard in practice. You know, uh, working hard to prepare for this game, and uh, you know, it it sucked that we missed a couple guys that game, but it, it's no excuse. We. We still should have, you know, put up a fight in that game, but, uh, you know, it's good to, good to get the win here. This group has so many different weapons that can score the ball, that can bring that defensive pressure, including yourself. How good can this team be based on all the weapons that you have at your disposal? Oh, uh, this team can be really good. We have a lot of skill on the offensive end. Uh, we got a lot of knockdown shooters, guys that can slash. Um, you know, we, could, we can really score. Um, we just got to put it all together and uh we really good team really good team what are your goals as we're getting set for tournament play in a couple of weeks as a team what do you think realistically this group can accomplish um we're taking it step by step we're looking for a district title first and then from then then on out we're going to keep moving up hopefully get get to regionals and then we've been looking forward we really want to get to regionals and then from there on out we're going to try to get to state and that's that's what this team's been working for um we've been busting our butts you know every day trying to get to get to where we want to be to get that district title. 
Well, congratulations on a great win here tonight. Congratulations on a conference championship, and we wish you all the best moving forward when tournament time rolls around. Thank you, thank you. That is our player of the game, Brian Gabrielson, a double-double, 23 points and 10 rebounds, helping Bristol to a 74-56 victory over Wyndham. When we come back, we'll be joined by the head coach of the Bristol Panthers. That's on the way next on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Good luck to all area teams from Stadium GN, proud sponsor of the Game of the Week. You've come to trust the Taylor family. We're proud to announce the Taylor tradition is expanding to Hermitage. We invite you to visit the all-new Taylor Chevrolet of Hermitage, providing you with the automotive excellence tailored just for you. Low monthly payments, zero money down, and when we make a deal, we'll pay off your trade no matter how much you owe. Visit us today in Hermitage because if you clear $350 per week, Taylor Chevrolet of Hermitage wants to approve you. DriveTaylorChevrolet.com. That's DriveTaylorChevrolet.com. Chevy, find new roads. Is he cute or am I just wearing horny goggles? Goggles. He made the Dean's list. Oh, honey, did you sleep with the Dean? I didn't have to. I'm smart. <laughs> Kids need space. Take it from me. Is that why I didn't see you my entire sophomore year? You're welcome. Mom, weeknights at 7.30 on MyYTV. There's some encouraging news when it comes to teenage drug abuse in Trumbull County. New at 11, why health experts think the number of kids who abuse substances is dropping. Plus, a prayer before games comes under fire in a local school district. We'll let you know what happened in West Branch when their basketball team took the court. And everything but the kitchen sink weekend ahead with the chance for a wintry mix and temperatures around the freezing mark. I'll fill you in on how this storm will impact your weekend tonight at 11. They're the classic American family. With a twist. I raised a moron. I love you, Boopy. Oh, oh my no. God. Oh, my God. But they're the family you can't help but love. Family takes care of family. This is what we do. The Goldbergs feel the love every weeknight. I got you, baby. Oh, God, no, I don't. Weeknights at 6.30 on MyYTV. And welcome back to Bomber Country, where it's Bristol coming away with a 74-56 victory over Wyndham. And that earns the Panthers a share of the NAC Stripes Division Championship. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski, so pleased to be joined by the head coach of the Panthers, Craig Giese. And coach, first of all, congratulations. Thank you. What does this win mean? What does this share of the conference championship mean? Uh, it was important for us to come out tonight and play well. Uh, we still had the taste of defeat from uh, December when we played Wyndham the first time, and uh, they got us at the buzzer. And uh, it, we wanted to come out and, and make a statement tonight that that we could play with anyone in, in the area. How much did that drive your group? Because it wasn't that long ago, back on December 22nd, I'm sure it's very fresh in your mind. I lose sleep still to this day. Over it. But uh, <laughs> uh, we, the boys talk about it a lot, and they were looking forward to this game. Obviously, you have so many weapons. You have four players and double figures here tonight. A Gabrielson, among others, with huge yeah. performances. Uh, this team is so dangerous and can beat opponents in so many different ways. Can you speak to that? Yeah, we, uh, we're not one-man team. We're, we have seven solid players that can score in double digits any night. And uh, we hang our hat defensively, and, and we try to get after and then create, create bedlam and, and go from there. Realistically, what are your expectations for what this group will be able to accomplish? Of course, it's not going to be long now before tournament play gets underway. Our expectations are, are to, to get to that district final game and... Uh, and, and give ourselves a chance to get to that regional and play in Canton. We talk about it year after year, and uh, the, we have a lot of seniors that that's been their goal since day one, and we're hoping that we can, we can get there this year. Can you speak to how fundamentally sound this group is? Yeah. They're such good decision makers. They do such yeah. a great job of, of being unselfish and, and spreading the ball around. Yeah, we put a lot of time, and we're together all the time at doing skill workouts. Uh, and uh, skill-wise, this is one of the best teams I've ever coached, and uh, you saw that tonight. Well, Coach, congratulations yeah. on the win. Congratulations Thank on the chat. share of the conference championship and all the best moving forward in the tournament. Thank you for coming out. It was great play with, uh, uh, in front of you guys and um, great for you to announce. And we, we really appreciate what you guys are doing with the game of the week and, and the area really appreciates it. Well, we're so thrilled to be here, Coach. That's the head coach of the Bristol Panthers, Craig Giese. Bristol a winner, 74-56. When we come back, Will Klusnick will rejoin me and we'll wrap it up 
from Bomber Country on the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. Buy your next vehicle at Stadium GM in Salem, where Zero Down delivers every day. Right now at Diane Sauer Chevrolet, we have a selection of 2017 pre-owned cruises, all of them priced at only $14,995 each. Or buy any used car with only $88 down. With payment of only $88 a month buys this 07 Chevy Cobalt, $148 a month buys a 16 Hyundai Elantra, and $188 buys this 2016 Dodge Dart. Discover the Diane difference at Diane Sauer Chevrolet. Man, I need a nugget of knowledge. How long? Well, we're finishing up right now. Coming up at 610. Fresh and hot. But make room for me. I'm up in 10 minutes. You'll never believe where I'm going. Oh, you got it. Oh, we got a breaking news update coming up. Uh, weather in the threes. Big changes for the weekend. Update is up in five minutes. But up next is Daybreak Nation on location. Have a great day. Their morning is busy just like yours, but they love serving you every day starting at 5 a.m. Celebrate one of TV's greatest hits. Hey, I'm in. With the funny, that really packs a punch. Whoever's right gets to slap the other person in the face as hard as they possibly can. And that's not a backhanded compliment. Oh. Oh. So get slap happy with the gang. It's already slap o'clock. <laughs> hey, hey, hold on. Wow. But are you going to cry? You're going to cry. How I Met Your Mother. Weekdays at 4 on MyYTV. And welcome back to Wyndham High School as we put the finishing touches on a 74-56 Bristol victory over the Wyndham Bombers, clinching for Bristol a share of the NAC Stripes Division title. Hi again, everybody. Chad Krispinski alongside Will Klusenik. We knew how good this Bristol program has right. been. We saw tonight how good this team is this year. You know, and, and what's impressive is you got a, a confident, you've got a veteran team that understands how to play, understands situations, and, and they did an outstanding job tonight. Tremendous sense of urgency, and any time Wyndham edged a little bit closer, boy, Bristol certainly put their foot on the gas. You know, and they had a lot of different guys that made those plays. You know, when you've got four guys going in in double figures, it's tough to figure out who you need to guard and who you need to defend, but very unselfish tonight as well. Let's take a look at the final box score as we put the finishing touches on this one. Wyndham drops to 16-3. and three. Bristol, meanwhile, improves to 16-2. and two. Four Bristol Panthers in double figures, led by Brian Gabrielson, 23 points and 10 boards. Bobby Evan, the transfer from Maplewood, 21 points. He narrowly missed out on a double-double. And Gage Elza with 11 points in that first in that ball game, not in the first half, but in the entire game here tonight. You know, and, and again, Wyndham, you know, tried to claw back into it. You know, give them a lot of credit, you know, for not giving up. But I think Bristol just a little bit too much tonight, and they showed that. So that is the story from here at Wyndham High School. We hope you've enjoyed this presentation of the WKBN High School Basketball Game of the Week. We'll be back with you coming up on Monday from Struthers Fieldhouse. It'll be girls action. Struthers playing host to a very good Columbiana team. For my broadcast partner, Wilk Lucidic, and all of us at WKBN, my name is Chad Krispinski telling you once again the final score. Bristol 74, Wyndham 56. Till next time, so long everybody from Bomber Country.